Rex Hewerman. Lawyers for accused Gilgo Beach serial killer now uh, scrutinizing thousands of tips that the uh, defense uh, has uh, put out there as part of their strategy in a bid to strengthen the defense for Rex Hewerman. Of course, the accused serial killer and the Gilgo Beach murderers. His legal defense team planned to meticulously analyze the nearly 3,000 tips received by law enforcement since 2010 concerning the 11 bodies discovered along Long Island's Gilgo Beach over a 13-year period. Michael Brown, representing Hewerman, emphasized the importance of ensuring a thorough investigation into all leads during the prolonged period when the case remained unresolved. We want to see these leads, and we want to see the credibility of these leads, Brown stated, underlining the potential impact of their defense strategy. Uh, he does realize that, like, not all 3,000 tips were, like, accurate, right? I mean, I hope that, that's not how that works. I mean, you, I mean, he will go through these, and he will find plenty that lead absolutely nowhere, point at other people that have nothing to do with this. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's only one couple, one family, whose hairs were found on the bodies of four of the victims. And ding, that's ding, ding, ding. the humans, yep. everybody. Um not just one person that has old, but two. So double your pleasure, double your fun. Uh, that should be a, a double mint gum commercial. Uh, don't you think that'd be a really dark one? A very dark yes, one it where would. it's like double they mint. They could air that around you're Halloween. Walking along the beach, chewing double mint gum, and you're coming across the. Uh, God, that'd be horrible. Uh, be. Suffolk County District Attorney Ray Tierney, however, uh, remained unwavering in his confidence in the prosecution's case, saying, We've been doing this a while. Tierney remarked, indicating familiar, familiarity with the potential defense maneuvers. Hearman, who is 60 now, appeared briefly at the Suffolk County Courthouse in Riverhead, uh, clad in a black suit, white shirt, blue tie. Or as the attorney updated the judge on the case's progress, this marked Hearman's first appearance before Judge Timothy uh, Mazzei, or Mazzei? M-A-Z-Z-E-I. How do we say that one? Mazzei? Maybe? Mazzei? Mazzei? Uh, since pleading not guilty to the uh, instant indictment, uh, charging him with the murder of Marine Brainerd Barnes, uh, one of the victims uh, from 2007. Uh, again, another one they found more hairs on. Uh, during the uh, court session, uh, prosecutor Nicholas uh, Santramonio, Santramonio uh, disclo disclosed the turnover of extensive evidence to the defense, including 2,944 tips dating back to 2010, alongside lab reports and electronic device data, amounting to three terabytes. Brown, who had been pursuing these records for months, emphasized their importance for the defense. We haven't received any of the documentation. We expect that will be forthcoming, but that's very important, extremely important for this case. Brown asserted indicating particular interest in information related to another individual, the prior district attorney, uh, considered a charging with the crimes. Uh, in addition to the tips and evidence turnover, the defense also dis uh, discussed Hewerman's disturbing online search history, which, yes, very disturbing online search history in case anyone questions online search history uh, or looking up things like this. It's horrible. It's bad. I think that goes without saying. These searches included terms such as tied up fat girl porn, skinny white teen crying porn, medieval torture of women, medieval torture of women. What the fuck? Good uh, Lord. Skinny black girl slave. This is the shit that's on his computer. Like that should just get him locked away forever right there. It's like, sorry, You dude. know, it, you can look up anything you want, but it also says a lot about your character. This is just <laughs> horrific. What would this say about Rex Hewerman's character? <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey, it's like, that'd be a really interesting thing to, uh, to see. You know, like we have, um, uh, we, I'm just thinking social media, we used to have like quotes and stuff like underneath our things. I, do we anymore? Is that like on Instagram? I think there is still someone. I think so. I, I'd like to see everyone's search history. <laughs> I think people should just walk around. What would be even better? Like with those Google go or the, uh, the Apple uh, goggles that they have now, the VR yes. ones. Uh, and you walk around and it kind of like it's a fucking privacy nightmare because it can film everything everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. That I, I'd like to just look at somebody and then it just shows me their search history. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be says great? That's a lot about you. Oh my God. That would be so interesting and it would make you want to lock yourself in your home and never leave again. Uh, oh. Human allegedly made these searches under the Gmail account Sandbagger303. In case you have any emails from Sandbagger303, you might want to look into that. Uh, created in 2017, Sandbagger 303. That's frightening. Under the false name Andrew Robert. Sandbagger 303. Weird because, you know, the bodies are on the beach and sand and 
Yeah. yeah. It sounds a little bit um, prophetic. Like, here's what I did and here's what I do. Yeah. Moreover, humans, the lawyer Michael Brown last month defended his client's alleged sadistic search history. And this is where it's got to be really shitty being a defense attorney trying to argue this shit. Arguing that most people engage in questionable web sleuthing. One thing leads to another. You see a show about something, you start searching. And they'll talk about somebody got killed, Brown said. You start searching, and then they talk about it in another way. And you start searching. Think about it if they looked at your own personal search history. How all of a sudden you're guilty because of your search history. Uh, I can confidently say I've never looked up tied up fat girl porn, skinny white teen crying porn, medieval torture of women, or skinny black slave girl. Uh, 100%. Or anything of the nature. And I believe there was a lot of other really horrible search uh, histories that he has. And no, it does say a lot about your character because there's nobody who's looking this shit up for any reason other than they're into it. Well, and that's the thing. Looking at what you and I do for a living, we could... I'm saying, quote, air quotes, could be looking at the most horrific stuff out there and say that it's part of our jobs and even our but search why history would you? isn't this bad. No, I mean, you, you wouldn't ever search these sort of things when you're looking up a case. It's, nope. it's nuts. I mean, it, 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 it's stupid. It's nothing to do with the other than these are facts of what the fuck he did. Um, yeah. Why are you looking this up? Why? Yeah. What? What about you wants to see this? Exactly. So uh, that's the thing with Huberman, whether, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident he's going to get it on the murder charges, but at the least there's this, uh, and the other horrible things that they found in his computer. This is just touching the surface, about some of the things that they found down on his computer we've talked about in other episodes. Huberman's next court appearance is scheduled for April 17th as both sides prepare for what promises to be a very complex and high profile trial. Uh, the, um, the happy face killer I know is, is pleading with him to just admit it, which I find very interesting. I think the happy face killer right. wants to get some attention, um, and he's finding a way to, uh, to do just that. Cause I, I can't imagine us coming from a place of good of like, yeah, I, I've reformed myself and I just want to help other serial killers not do the same, go down the same tough road that I went down. <laughs> I, uh, I wish he would fess up. Let's, you know, I the yes. trial is going to be interesting, but it would be more interesting if he said, yeah, I fucking did it. Well, for the love of God, I mean, your fucking hairs are on these bodies and they're multiple bodies. And so is your wife's. And it, if you give a shit about your family or anything, just admit it and be done. Go yeah, get, go exactly. do it. Go get shanked in prison and be over with it. Just get it over with. Sick of the ads? We opt to. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.